What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can turn your pocophone f1 into a complete one plus six like i even have the one plus six now running on the auction os over here and they are just completely the same the performance on both of them is just amazing and mind-blowing like look at that the app opening speeds are pretty much same on both of them which is again amazing for a ported rom again let's just try with another heavy app such as file manager one two three a dedicated speed test will be made by me which you can see if you subscribe down there and yeah guys with that said i don't know what's wrong with the youtube's recommendation system my videos are not getting pushed out at all like even my subscribers are not getting my notifications or even my videos in the sub list i seriously don't know why so if you guys have received my video and if you are watching this video please share it to your friends if i ever help you or if you have gained any knowledge from my videos please do me a favor and share my videos to all of your friends or just any kind of poco user or if anyone is looking to buy a poco just share this video to them maybe it would be helpful in future and first of all i have made a complete review of this thing and yeah i did take my time the last time that i made a video on this was almost two to three months ago that was actually the auction os beta pi but now we have finally booted a stable version of it and almost everything completely works over here which is just amazing next to this stability would be the redmi note 5 pro no other phone with auction os runs this stable like this is completely daily driver usable so again if you're tired of MIUI or custom roms this is the way you can go like completely well let's just take a look at this this now runs on again the stock Pi vendor which is just amazing you don't need any kind of patch kernel or vendor for it from a custom rom like cyberia os or moki this runs off the stock vendor which again makes much more stabler for example if you are using the latest Pi beta you have the newest touch drivers with it so again the typing and all the pubg mistakes are completely gone over here you can just check by the i button over here and pretty much just everything is working there are almost no bugs left in this rom to fix so in today's video i'm going to show you just everything how to make this a complete daily driver package with the face unlock and even dual volte working so that's again amazing for a ported rom and it's oxygen os like the best thing that you can get like there is nothing better than oxygen os not even the stock android and with that said let's just get started with the installation so the installation is pretty easy you have to download a bunch of files before that just go to the description and download everything and after that just take a complete backup of your phone yes if your phone is encrypted on miui pi your phone might get wiped so for just being on the safer side, just back up your whole phone, unlock the bootloader which only takes 3 days on the Poco phone F1 which is again amazing. You don't have to have any kind of more errors or just have to wait half a month for unlocking your phone. It just happens in 3 days and there are pretty much no errors in it. Once you unlock your phone, just power it off and hop onto your PC. So once you're on your PC, you have to just download these files. Now I know there are a lot for a one ROM but trust me. Once you do everything of this, your ROM will be completely stable. Now just grab your Pocophone F1 just like this and hold on your power and volume down at the same time just like you enter the fast boot mode when you unlock the phone just like this and then connect it to the PC. Then open this ADB folder. Once you open the folder, just go to the CMD. Now over here type in fast boot devices. Once it shows the random number and fast boot, that means your device has been successfully connected. Then type in fast boot flash recovery and then just dragging this img just like this hit enter and voila you have successfully installed a custom recovery on your pocophone f1 once you do that just go to your phone and press volume up and power at the same time in order to go to the recovery now once you're into the recovery i seriously recommend you guys to wipe your whole phone as miui pi update must having a complete encryption for the snapdragon 800 series so just go to wipe format data Type in yes, just like that, hit enter and your phone has been decrypted. Then again go to wipe, advanced wipe and just select everything. No need of your external storage, just swipe to wipe. There you go, Pocophone F1 must be there. Just open it like that and just copy all of these files. Just drag it like that, just right here. Now once you have copied all the files, just unlock your phone and I'm presuming you're already on the official Pi update. If you aren't on the official Pi update or if you were on a custom ROM, just flash the stock vendor and you would be completely okay. But as we are already on the official Pi update, I will be going to the mount, mount vendor system, firmware, just everything mount it. Just mount everything and go to install. First of all, select the ROM, add more zips, the vendor patch, add more zips, the notch and padding fix. This is for the upper big ass notch that we have, add more zips. IR face unlock, this is for the face unlock, of course. Add more zips, 
disable force encryption. Just confirm to flash. This might take few minutes. Once everything has been installed, just unlock the phone and everything has been just went successfully as you can see, nothing has been failed. If anything fails, just reboot your recovery once and mount everything and try it again. Trust me, it will be just perfect. Now reboot the system, do not install. Now this won't take long, Snapdragon 845 is an extremely powerful chip. And voila, we are already into the setup. It wasn't even one minute. Now, as you can see, we are into the setup and I can't really adjust the brightness over here. So sorry for that, but let's just complete everything. Just like I am in, I am in, I am in, skip, 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 continue, next, more, accept. Now on the face data tab, you have to not touch anything. It will completely break what we are doing. So skip it. Again, if you want to set up the fingerprint scanner, yes, you can do it. Hit next, fingerprint and pattern, just like that, next. Confirm, next, just keep on typing the scanner. It just works extremely fast and perfect. No issues at all. Next, 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 one plus slate font. I really love it. Next, and we're completely done. Let's just address the camera. Now, as I said in my video, the OnePlus camera just works completely fine. I mean, if you want to click pictures, it just works fine. But if you want more options such as like portrait mode, better video recording. Now for better video recording, you can always use MIUI camera. Yes, MIUI camera has been the finally made for the auction OS. And now we will be also installing that. But with that, if you want the portrait mode, you only have the option for Gcam over here. So we will be just installing everything. So first of all, Gcam, go into the file manager, install package. There you go, Gcam is there. Just install it. Going to the left, as you can see, portrait mode just works fine. You even have the brilliant night sight working over here because OnePlus One is just broken and MIUI One is just complete shit. So you can just always go over here and it just completely works. Then again, let's just install the MIUI camera and the face unlock. Now for that, you have to just go to Magix. Now, yes, our phone is actually rooted. It will just download the complete new package. As you can see, it just updates itself. Hit on the install and you must be good to go. Just open it. Now, as you can see, it comes with a new UI. You have to just go to modules and add over here. Go to file manager. There must be ANX camera just like that. Let it install. Close. Now also go into the downloads. You have to go to search and type in face. There you go. Google face unlock. You have to just again download that to install. There you go. Now just hit reboot. And also guys, none of you actually commented about the baby RC that I added. Everyone commented H2 spotted when I added the H2. Like literally none of you noticed that I have added the KTM. That's just weird, but let's just unlock the phone. And now you must be having the NX camera, which is essentially just MIUI camera, but just remind that do not go to portrait mode. It will completely break your rear camera and you have to just completely reboot each and every single time that you want. But of course, AI camera and all the video recording stuff just works, even though 960 FPS slow motion, which is again great. You have all the MIUI features and then let's just go to the settings for the face unlock now. Just go to the security, not this face unlock. You have to just go to the smart lock. Enter your pattern, got it. There you go, trusted face, set up. Just set it up quickly just like this. Face added, done. I mean, it's just amazing that it works with your IR scanner. I mean, it's quick. There you go, no time needed at all. Now, after all of that, let's just now finally fix the sound mode because we don't have an alert slider and the quick torch over here. Now the torch over here just doesn't work. For some odd weird reason, the camera model just completely works, but the flashlight toggle is just completely broken. So for that, you will need an app called Godly Torch. Now it's not available on the Play Store, so I will leave a link in the description for that. It's from XDA. Just open it and there you go. Looking for root, grant it, select device. Then you have to just select Mi 6. For some odd weird reason, it just works completely. Select, apply. And there you go. Now your toggle must be completely working. You can always adjust the intensity of the light, like the yellow part, then the master control for it. Just amazing. You have to just go to edit, just dump this one and add the new godly torch one. As you can see, just works completely perfect. And for the sound mode, you can always use any kind of widget such as, let's just select for any kind of sound mode. There you go. This first one looks perfect. Install. Go to the widgets, sound mode toggle, grant permission, allow the modifications. As you can see, all the options have been added. Add the widget to the home screen and there you go, voila. Now you can finally control your sound like sound, mute and vibrate. Completely freaking works. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the complete installation of the Oxygen OS 
on your Pocophone F1. I hope you guys enjoyed and if anything went over your head, just comment down below. And if I'm not able to help you guys there, just follow me on my streaming channel. And whenever I stream, you can always ask me there. No worries at all. And see you guys in the next one. Peace and be sure to subscribe.